Welcome everyone to the University of Rhode Island, a flagship public institution where big thinkers come to explore, learn, and be inspired. Located in Kingston, Rhode Island, just 10 minutes away from some of the most gorgeous beaches, this coastal school provides endless opportunities for students to research and explore. URI has been named to Forbes' Best Value Colleges list and has invested over $800 million in campus improvements and innovation over the past 12 years. This is a school that cares deeply about its students and the opportunities they will have while at URI and beyond. I'm your host, Alex Boylan. Join me over the next 30 minutes as we meet with current students and alumni to learn more about what makes the largest school in the smallest state a place you have to see. We will explore the surrounding areas, visit their cutting edge facilities, and of course, check out their athletic complex. Once again, welcome to the University of Rhode Island. This is the College Tour. We are about to meet Sarah, one of the 2,256 graduate students at URI. Sarah from New Jersey studied marine biology here and is now entering her one year master's program at URI. Let's go hear from Sarah, who is on the Captain Burt boat, a URI research vessel, about her experiences with the sea. Thank you, Alex, and ahoy there, everyone. I got my start at the University of Rhode Island as a marine biology major, and now I'm here continuing my education as a master's student studying environmental science and management. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you all about how college education is more important than just learning skills for a job. Learning outside of the classroom is just as important in helping to elevate your goals. My first semester here, I was lucky to have Dr. Bradley Weatherby as my URI 101 professor. Dr. Weatherby is one of the best shark researchers in New England, and at the end of my class with him, I asked if he had any openings in his lab on campus. He had a few students graduating from his lab, so I was able to jump right into tracking sharks off the coast of Rhode Island, California, and Mexico as soon as my second semester here. I even got to take some trips out of the marina to tag sharks myself along with a few other students. In January of 2020, I participated in a J-term course led by Dr. Graham Forrester and Katie Nichols in Bonaire, which is a little island off the coast of Venezuela. This was a coral reef conservation scuba diving course where we got to dive three times a day for two weeks. We actually got to spend a little over 21 hours underwater throughout the class. We learned all sorts of things like diver impacts on the reef, fish counting, and the difference between marine protected areas versus non-protected areas. My knowledge of corals skyrocketed after this course, and I was able to learn many different species of corals as well as some diseases that take over those corals. And it really helped me to delve into what I want to do post-graduation. Two summers ago, I held an environmental education internship at a place called the Wetlands Institute in Stone Harbor, New Jersey. This internship was 13 weeks long, and I learned that not only do I love the research aspect of marine biology, but I also love being able to spark an interest in marine life in young children and adults. Being able to see people's faces light up when they learned something new or got to hold an animal from one of our touch tanks and learning stations was something quite amazing. I got to practice my public speaking and communication skills by running all the educational programming throughout the Institute, and this really helped show me all the opportunities that are waiting for me once I cross the stage with my master's degree at graduation next year. The hands-on experiences that I've had during my time at URI will have lasting impacts on my career as I continue my work and studies in marine biology. Without URI, I wouldn't have been able to challenge myself through travel, classes, internships, and other experiential learning opportunities that will make me an overall better environmentalist. That's my story so far at URI, and I can't wait to see how the rest of it unfolds. Back to you, Alex. Thanks, Sarah. You really had so many hands-on learning experiences that propelled you to the next step in your journey at URI. Tagging sharks, educating young people, and traveling to Bonaire have all definitely shaped your journey. More than 6,700 students participate annually in experiential learning, and the work they do outside of the classroom changes their trajectory. Just take it from Sarah. Thanks again for that. All right, everyone, let's go meet Joelle over at Hillside Hall. Joelle is a junior who's a Rhode Island native and is studying mechanical engineering. Joelle is gonna to talk to us about his experiences meeting all kinds of people while at URI and how participating in club sports led him to some unexpected places. With more than 30 multicultural clubs on campus, Joelle and other students are able to interact with so many different people. Let's hear from Joelle 
Yeah. Thanks, Alex. I'm excited to share with you all my URI experience and how the people I've met along the way have been some of the best parts of my college career. Being born in Jamaica and becoming a Rhode Island resident at age four, attending my state's flagship institution was an easy choice. I want to meet all different types of people with various backgrounds and experiences. And by making URI my home, I've definitely been able to do that. When I first started at URI, I was placed in a living learning community or an LLC. These are communities of students who live together and share the same academic interests. And in my case, I was placed with other engineering students. While it was beneficial for me to connect with others in my classes, I found myself hanging out more with pharmacy majors right here. I wasn't expecting to become close with students outside my program, but it was my first lesson in realizing that URI was gonna provide me with exactly what I wanted, the opportunity to connect with others who are different from me. Getting involved in club sports was another way I was able to connect with people who had different experiences from me. I was a member of the 2019 club volleyball team that won the national championships in Denver, Colorado. Being able to travel with my team, compete for a national championship, and do it all in my first year was incredible. I've always had a competitive streak, and club sports gave me an outlet for that, even with a rigorous curriculum like mechanical engineering. Through my time on the team, I've been able to build friendships that have been strong ever since. The students I've met aren't the only people who have had a significant impact on my time at URI. I've also been able to benefit from incredible mentorship through my involvement with the National Society of Black Engineers, or NSBE. In this organization, I met two mentors who helped me as I navigated the URI engineering curriculum. I first met Tylan after she presented at a NSBE event at URI. She gave me the opportunity to travel to the national convention in my first year because she saw my potential. I've really been able to find myself at URI. I realized that my interests can extend beyond my major. And by living on campus and getting involved in every opportunity I can, I've been able to help others along the way. That's a little bit about me. Now back to you, Alex. Thanks, Joelle. Sounds like URI is a community of students and alumni who all want to challenge themselves and get out of their comfort zone. You've had some amazing URI experiences, and we cannot wait to see more of what you are going to do next. Take care. Okay, everyone. Kate, a senior in the Chinese flagship program, is over at Lippitt Hall, home to the university's honors program. Students in the honors program study the important issues facing our society and seek innovative solutions to the challenges they encounter. The Chinese flagship program is teaching Kate to be proficient in Mandarin Chinese and allows her to have so many different global learning experiences. Kate sure has an incredible story to tell, so let's hear from her. Take it away. Thanks, Alex. Hi, everyone. In Mandarin, I just said, welcome to URI, and my name is Kate. I was originally born in Seoul, South Korea. At the age of four months old, I was adopted and raised in North Smithfield, Rhode Island. As a Korean American with French Canadian parents, I've always had an immense passion for travel, languages, and culture. And I knew I wanted to attend a university that not only allowed me to further explore these interests, but to expand them into skills and knowledge applicable towards a career in international relations and law. And that's when I was introduced to the Chinese flagship program here at URI. The Chinese flagship program is one of only 12 other programs in the entire country and offers an intensive, holistic, and incredibly rewarding opportunity for students to achieve a superior level of proficiency in Mandarin Chinese. But aside from this, my time as a RAM has also allowed me to travel all over East Asia, while simultaneously earning credit towards my degrees. Through Euro's partnership with Korea University, I was able to study abroad in Seoul, South Korea, and attend their international winter campus, where I took Korean classes and explored more of my native heritage and culture. Thanks to the help of URI's Office of National Fellowships and Academic Opportunities, I was awarded both the Boren and Gilman National Scholarships, as well as the Rhode Island Demers Language Scholarship, for a total of more than $44,000 towards my study abroad program in Taiwan. Even beyond this, being selected as a Boren Scholar means that I'll have a job with the federal government working in national security after I graduate. An incredible start to my professional career after college. But if studying abroad perhaps isn't for you, URI still has countless opportunities for all of its students. Take the Honors Program, for example. 
Open to students from all departments and disciplines, the Honors Program not only offers students with an expanded course selection and early enrollment opportunities, but also allows students the opportunity to conduct research or other scholarly and creative work for academic credit through the Honors Project. Becoming a RAM has provided me with countless opportunities that have allowed for my professional, academic, and personal growth, and I have no doubt that it will do the exact same for you. Well, that's my story. Now back to you, Alex. Zaijian. Wow, Kate, thank you for sharing. It's amazing to hear about the experiences that URI students can have because of the university's global mindset with over 700 plus study away opportunities. Your work with URI's Office of National Fellowships and Academic Opportunities is surely leading you to some big places. From the experience you've had abroad to the work you've done here in Kingston, you'll surely be able to change the world. And I can't wait to see what you do. Take care. The University of Rhode Island is located in the Southern Village of Kingston, and its 14,572 students are able to explore the smallest state in the country while having some big adventures. Let's go meet Brian, a senior secondary education and history double major who calls Rhode Island home. Brian is gonna show us how he takes advantage of everything this state has to offer from the top of the state down to the southern coast. Take it away, Brian. What's going on, everyone? I've lived in Rhode Island most of my life, so I've spent a lot of my time exploring the most beautiful, entertaining, and tastiest places that the state has to offer. This makes me a bit of an expert on everything Rhode Island. Going just beyond the borders of our extraordinary college town is a 25-minute drive to one of the most iconic places, Newport, Rhode Island. I've spent countless days with my friends going to Newport to hike the seawall, taking the views on Ocean Drive with its iconic mansions, shopping on the wharf, or eating at one of the best restaurants right on the harbor, Lake Diego's. People travel from all over to see Newport, and for good reason. While Southern Rhode Island is guaranteed to win you over, my favorite part about going to school here is how our campus is located just 30 minutes from our state's capital, Providence. Providence is a city that prides itself on its amazing food, art, and the culture. When I come to Providence, I know I'm going to have an incredible experience. The best part about Providence is that it's a city all about the people who love the place that they live. I love going to so many different spots like Federal Hill, Wicked and Street, and Thayer Street, which are filled with authentic Italian food, food trucks, and amazing street food with local vendors. Spending a day in Providence can take you to so many different places, from spending a day shopping at the mall, going to art museums, catching a concert at the Strand, and exploring the ins and outs of the city. Well, I could probably go on for hours about living near the clear beaches of Narragansett or the perks of being 30 minutes from a beautiful city, I think the greatest part about going to school in Rhode Island is the fact that you can drive anywhere in the state in under an hour. Think about that. You'll be only a short drive from some of the most interesting, unique, and beautiful places ever. This has great benefits for URI students for their academics and internships too. As an education major looking to learn more about the process of working in an urban school setting, I have the resources to pick and work at nearly any school in the entire state. The ability to explore so many different towns all within an hour from campus is something I wouldn't trade for the world. Living in Rhode Island and going to school in the Ocean State has been one of the best decisions I've ever made and I'm looking forward to exploring it even more. Thanks so much and back to you, Alex. Thanks, Brian. Being able to travel anywhere in the state in just a short amount of time is something that is really unique here to Rhode Island. Brian, you have definitely taken advantage of all the state has to offer, and it sounds like there's still more left for you to explore. Have fun. It's time to head over to the Robert E. Will Theater, where we'll meet senior Alana. Alana's always been in love with the theater and has dreams to be on Broadway. She is getting that foundation at URI through her work in the classroom, outside of the classroom, and research experience at this major research institution. Students at URI are able to pursue their dreams, whether that be in STEM programs, business, education, or the arts. No student's dream is too big or small. URI students can literally do it all. Let's head over to Alana and learn more about her story. 
Thanks, Alex. My time at URI has been anything but traditional, which is only fitting with my major in theater and my passion for the performing arts. As a theater major, I love to flex my creativity both on and off stage. Lots of people, both peers and professors, have helped me to progress with my talents in ways I never could have imagined. My URI 101 professor, David Howard, who is the chair of the theater department, is my biggest supporter and cheerleader. He's there for me with opportunities, encouragement, and advice to keep me going. Rachel Walsh, one of my directing professors, always reminds me to shoot for the stars. She encouraged me to apply for one of the most incredible experiences I had at URI, which was a week-long regional theater competition, the Kennedy Center American College Theater Festival, KCACTF. Through KCACTF, I competed in a leadership program entitled Aspire. During my time in Aspire, I met amazing creative artists just like me and created my own season of plays. My season of plays was entitled Black History Year and consisted of a series of plays all from black playwrights that followed American history through the black perspective in order to further unify black history as American history. This is a passion of mine due to the lack of representation of black playwrights that I've experienced within my own life. I became a finalist for Aspire, and most importantly, this experience inspired me to keep fighting for equity and inclusion in theater. Beyond researching and creating, I was able to showcase my performing skills in the spring of 2021 as the lead in our production of Miss Nelson is Missing. This was such a special experience since we were able to record the production and then stream it to over 450 classrooms. Never mind our friends and family who watched it from home, making it our largest audience at URI. During these challenging and uncertain times, the arts aren't always prioritized. Through URI Theater, we were able to come together as a community and use the arts to lift people up. I can't help but think that if it was not for the amazing people and experiences I had at URI, I would not be the same person I am today telling you this story. So thank you for letting me share my story with you. That's a wrap, Alex. Thanks, Alana. You are so talented and really set the stage on fire. Hearing about your experience at the Kennedy Center American College Theater Festival was awesome. Being able to put all the skills you learned from your professors and classmates into action really paid off. It's clear that your research is making a big, big impact. I know we'll see you on Broadway one day soon. Take care. Okay, let's head over to the athletic complex where URI Division I Athletics plays some of its biggest games. There, we will meet Adam, a senior studying supply chain management. At URI, there are so many athletic facilities like the Ryan Center, Keeney Gymnasium, Mackle Fieldhouse, Boss Ice Arena, and Mead Stadium, where Adam is now. All facilities allow for student athletes to do what they love and allow students like Adam to cheer them on. Adam's pride runs deep, and let's find out why. Take it away. Thanks, Alex, and hello, everyone. My name's Adam. I can't wait to share more about URI pride and the special traditions our students get to experience. When I was in the process of deciding where I wanted to spend my next four years, the University of Rhode Island was impossible to overlook. Here at URI, my roots run deep dating back to the class of 1950 when my great aunt became the first member of my family to graduate from URI. She was then followed by my cousin, his wife, my sister, and now myself as students at this university. You can call us a legacy family. I was always looking for a school that had a great academic program, but always offered something more. As familiar as I thought I was with URI, it wasn't until I became a student myself where I really understood the pride and excitement of being a Rhode Island Ram. My first experience that really made me feel a part of URI was a spirited event called First Night, which took place the first night I moved onto campus. I was able to walk around, meet new people, and sign up for a variety of clubs and organizations that I was interested in. Over the years, I've been involved with many organizations, such as the tour guide team, the orientation team, and even an acapella group, because they piqued my interest that first night. The very next day, I was able to attend the next pivotal event, Freak Day which is an event that lets first-year students meet the variety of Greek fraternities and sororities that make up one of the largest Greek life communities in the Northeast. At that event is where I met my future fraternity brothers and was able to become a part of something bigger than myself. 
These campus traditions like First Night and Freak Day allow our students to find their people and their passions on campus. A huge part of URI that I wanted to be involved with was our athletics. Not only was I able to participate in our intramural programs, but I was able to support our NCAA Division I athletic teams through Rhodey Ruckus, our official fan base organization. I can remember my first time at the Ryan Center for a basketball game and Meade Stadium for a football game and just being overwhelmed with the amount of passion and spirit put on display by our student body. You can always find me and thousands of other students and members of the community in the crowd cheering for URI. I've been inspired by so many people along my journey and everyone here has an enormous amount of school pride. I know even after I graduate, I'll be able to find and connect with alumni all over the world. That instant roadie connection will never leave me and I'll be a Ram forever. Thanks for letting me share a bit of my story. Back to you, Alex, and go roadie. With a stadium like that, no wonder why you've made so many amazing memories cheering on URI athletic teams. I'm sure your family is cheering you on during your journey as you continue their URI legacy. Let's go roadie. Now, you've heard about the beach, so it's time to head over to Narragansett Town Beach where we will meet Emma. Emma has gone coast to coast, coming from California and choosing to study in the Ocean State. With the shore just 10 minutes from campus, students are able to experience all four seasons while spending time at the beach and living the dream. Emma is so excited to tell us more. Off to you, Emma. Thanks, Alex. Hey, everyone. URI is such a beautiful campus with amazing views, sunsets, and more. The village of Kingston, as well as the beach town of Narragansett, allow URI students to reap the benefits of a coastal campus. The shining star of this area is the beach, as well as the caring coastal community. One of my absolute favorite things to do is grab some delicious food from one of the many Rhode Island favorites around town, like Brickley's Ice Cream or Iggy's Doughboys and Chowder House, and sit by the seawall with some friends. Thankfully, this is so easy to do because the beach is only a short 15 minute car ride from campus. There are also so many fun water sports to enjoy nearby. The URI Sailing Center offers kayaking and paddleboarding, which I had the opportunity to experience this past fall with incoming first year students. I even went surfing for the first time at Narragansett Town Beach with my best friends during Easter weekend. Many students live on campus and head to Narragansett to make memories. However, so many students also love to call the town of Narragansett their home. This past year, I lived down the line in an off-campus house with my three other roommates in a beautiful seaside community. Although living in the residence halls was an unforgettable experience, there's not many people who can say they lived in a beach house during college. I enjoy living in this caring and close-knit neighborhood where I get to see kids making snowmen in the yard during winter, and I'm greeted at the bagel place down the street by name with a smile every Sunday morning. Calling Narragansett at home makes it pretty easy to say, I'm living the dream. When I moved here from California three years ago, I would have never expected to love this state as much as I do. I was so enticed by going to a school by the beach, experiencing all four seasons, and getting to try new things. My time at URI has been such an amazing experience that I now plan to stay on the East Coast for graduate school and beyond. I fell in love with New England and I cannot wait to continue my education and fulfill my dream of becoming a physician assistant. Well, that's my experience living in this beautiful town. Back to you, Alex. Thanks, Emma. It looks like URI has made an East Coast girl out of you. What an incredible opportunity URI students have being so close to the beach and also being able to live in some beautiful houses. I can't wait to go try some Rhode Island classics. Maybe I'll go check out Iggy's first. Take care, Emma. It's now time to go to one of URI's 26 student residence halls and meet Sonica. Sonica is a student from Dubai, United Arab Emirates, who chose to leave her home country and study pharmacy at URI. Sonica, along with other international students from 76 different nations, have made URI their home. Let's hear from Sonica about her journey at URI. Hi everyone. I decided to fly almost 7,000 miles to pursue the six-year Doctor of Pharmacy program at the University of Rhode Island. I was born and raised in Dubai, UAE, and as much as I love my city, it had started to become my comfort zone, so I knew I was ready for the next step. 
While it did take time to settle in, the URI community offered nothing but kindness, acceptance, and support. When I think of home, I think of a safe space where I feel supported and have people to go to in times of need. And URI is exactly that. While it's not required to live on campus, I would highly recommend that you do. I made some of my best friends in my major through the Pharmacy Living and Learning Community, or LLCs. Everyone in my classes lived in my residence hall. Each morning, we would wait for each other in the lobby, then get a delicious breakfast at the dining hall, walk to all our classes, grab lunch together, my personal favorite is the sushi, and then we would study in the lounges until dinner, where we'd enjoy the amazing stir-fry station or different options at the deli. So essentially, living on campus is just a massive sleepover with all your best friends. As I was adjusting to URI, I started to become more involved. I joined two on-campus jobs, which means it was only a convenient walk away from work, and I also joined clubs and organizations, including Lambda Kappa Sigma, the professional pharmaceutical sorority that helped me meet my best friends and form a family. On the weekends, we would meet up and attend group fitness classes like yoga or Zumba. As I received a lot of support that helped ease my transition, I thought it only right to repay the generosity in the form of mentorship. I'm the resident academic mentor, or RAM, for the College of Pharmacy's Living and Learning Community. So I actually live in the same residence hall as our first year students. I support their transition to college life by sending them helpful newsletters and holding programs like resume workshops, ice cream socials, study abroad info sessions, and more giving them a chance to get to know each other and also feel more comfortable at URI. I absolutely love being a RAM and getting to know my students every year. Watching them become more involved and take up leadership positions is such a rewarding full circle moment for me. I feel more confident in the way I carry myself, my ability to manage time, be productive, lead a crowd and facilitate discussions with my students, and also find a balance between work, academics, social life and me time. I feel like I've come a long way and I have URI to thank for my growth. So thank you for letting me share my story with you. What's next, Alex? Thanks, Sonica. Living on campus really seems to have had a positive impact on your time at URI. These living learning communities bring students together and help them make Kingston their home. The support services and the people students meet give them a way to make URI their true home away from home. Good luck in your fifth year of pharmacy school. Take care, Sonica. It's time to meet an excellent campus leader named Peyton, who is a junior from Connecticut. Peyton has really evolved during his time at URI, and a lot of it has to do with the leadership experience he got and the mentors he met along the way. URI's Leadership Institute works with first-year students who have leadership and service potential, with the hope that these students will become active members of the URI community. With over 100 students participating annually, URI is surely breeding amazing leaders. Let's hear from one right now. On to you, Peyton. Thanks, Alex. My trajectory was forever changed from my leadership experiences at URI. This all started before my first year even began at a two-day program called the URI Leadership Institute. As an incoming student, I knew no one at URI. But during this program, I was able to meet over 100 other first-year students who were in the same boat as me, such as one of my best friends and current roommates, Emmett. We participated in critical discussion, team building activities, as well as most importantly, interacted with current URI students that served as peer leaders for the program. These peer mentors showed me a variety of ways to get involved at URI, as well as the confidence I needed to pursue these opportunities. Lindsay encouraged me to join Rotaract Club, an organization dedicated to local service. It was there I found my passion for servant leadership and giving back to others. Brian guided me through the process of applying to be an orientation leader, so I can now help other first year students navigate their first experiences at URI. Lindsay and Brian were both peer mentors who soon became my friends and colleagues. They made me realize my potential and all the untapped energy I never knew I had in high school. This fall, I'll be able to have a full circle moment as a peer leader for incoming students at this year's Leadership Institute. Another huge experience that added to my leadership journey was participating in one of URI's alternative spring break trips, or ASB for short. In March 2020, I traveled to New Orleans to help assist with natural disaster relief, assist with food insecurity, as well as learn more about the background of this historic city. 
Through ASB, I was able to participate in amazing service activities, such as working in gardens at a charter school, sorting beads after Mardi Gras for recycling, as well as passing out meals at the food bank. I also learned about how Hurricane Katrina impacted the people of New Orleans until this day, along with how to drywall a home for a family that lost theirs through the natural disaster. These experiences opened my eyes to the various adversities people continuously face around the world and how I can continue to create positive change. Through these various organizations, I was nurtured to grow, all while continuously being supported by my amazing peers, professors, and faculty. I believe one of the greatest things URI has to offer are the people that are a part of its community. My involvement here at URI has given me the opportunity to genuinely feel for the first time in my life that I'm surrounded by people who truly value me and that will forever be something I am grateful for. Well, that's my story. Alex, back to you. Thanks, Peyton. It's incredible that all your amazing experiences have happened in your first two years at URI, and we can't wait to see what's next. Let's head over to the new Fasciatelli Center for Advanced Engineering, where we'll meet class of 2019 graduate, Jasmine. Jasmine is a first-generation college graduate who enrolled at URI not knowing what was to come. That's common for so many students entering college. In fact, one in every three entering students at URI aren't quite sure what they will major in. Students at URI are supported in making big decisions and are given the autonomy to try new things. Let's hear more about Jasmine's story. Thanks, Alex. Hi, everyone. As a 2019 alumna of the University of Rhode Island, I want to share my URI story with you as it may not be exactly what you would expect. My dream was to work in the fashion or cosmetic industry. I entered URI double majoring in chemical engineering and French. When I arrived to URI as a first generation Latina student in the engineering field, I had significant imposter syndrome. This caused quite the struggle because I faced years of attempting to succeed in a major that I wasn't sure I was truly passionate about. I joined an organization called DRIVE, which stands for Diversifying, Recruiting, Inspiring, Volunteering, and Educating, which helped create a community that I could lean on. And I learned how to utilize resources that my professors provided for classroom work that I needed. I took a material science and engineering course with Professor Otto Gregory that I realized I could combine both my academic interests with my personal dreams. The material science class opened my eyes to fine metalwork and ended up changing the course of my life. Professor Gregory provided me the opportunity to work with tempered glass, and then eventually I learned about the casting and metal shaping process. Academic support wasn't the only support that I needed at my time here at URI. Attending a predominantly white institution as a student of color had its own challenges that I needed to navigate. One of the first ways that I found support was attending the multicultural overnight program during my college search process. I met my two best friends in the program. They understood the pressures of being a first generation student and empathized with me during my college career. Finding others who share similar experiences through organizations like DRIVE make all the difference. I never imagined that I'd be able to combine my engineering degree with my passion for luxury fashion. But I was able to do this because of the exposure to challenging coursework and the support that I received from university faculty and staff. My advice to you, take advantage of the support and resources offered by this incredible community because it will help you achieve your dreams. Back to you, Alex. Thanks, Jasmine. Your story really has come full circle. The URI support services, mentors, and organizations you were involved with helped you to achieve your dreams, working in luxury fashion. Your journey is just beginning, and we can't wait to see your future success. Bye, Jasmine. Wow, everyone, how incredible is the University of Rhode Island? We met some amazing students who shared their stories, so thank you all. Now, you can write your own story at URI. Students can come to Kingston and become whoever they want to be. With a special location by the beach, a diverse campus community, and an opportunity to study with some of the biggest thinkers in the world, this may be the place for you. Well, that's it for me. If you want to learn more about URI and how to become a Rhodey Ram, please come check it out. And hopefully, we'll see you on campus real soon. Cheers, everyone.